Hi. So today I want to do a video about pagers because some people has been asking me how do I get pagers working. So I'm going to use in this case use these two Memo Express pagers from Motorola. You can see they're working. They're already power on. This is adaptive vibration and it's not. These two are clone. So they will receive message at the same time. Uh, I'm using my Linux computer here. Is Linux Linux in English? I don't know. Okay. I have my Chinese radio here, my Bayo Feng radio, just for receiving. Uh, actually, just hearing the encoding sound. And what I'm using to transmit is this Motorola GM300, I think, yeah, 300 radius radio. This is programmed in the same frequency as Bayer's. This is in BHF. So these were commercial Bayer's uh, at some point here in the 90s. So yeah, yeah I'm using the original frequency, so yeah. And I'm using here a script called uh, Boxack Encoder I found on GitHub. So this is just a Boxack Encoder made in C. Let me move to the screen here a little. Okay. Sorry about pointing to the screen, but I was lazy to use this some screen capture. So yeah, this is a software made in C. It's really simple. It just dumps the thing um, into a raw file, so you can play it back in an audio player. Ah, it's really cool. So yeah, also there is a software I want to show you that is called Gascop. And you can see it's graphical. Let me do a little more zoom. You can see it's a graphical thing. It's really it um, completely has a ton of stuff. You can see, I can type some, I don't know, stuff. Uh, and you can see it's sent just fine. It's really cool. Um, I didn't use it for my, like, thing because it's graphical. And I was running this thing before in my Raspberry Pi before the SD card, SD card died. <clears throat> so yeah, I'm just using the C encoder I made. Let me go to my desktop. Boxack, okay. Okay, so I made a really crappy script here that just encode the pager code is hard coded here as you can see and it's encoding it at that speed to that file and then it's just playing it back where it sucks. When I had some GBIO GBIO things for the Raspberry Pi but yeah I'm just keying manually now. So yeah let's just run this thing Okay, so I have both pagers here. I have this thing open. So I'm going to just send a message. Oh no, testing YouTube video link OXEC. Okay, so I have that message here. I'm going to key the radio. Oh, is that way? Okay, so I'm going to transmit. Oops, oops, sorry. Okay, I'm going to transmit. Now you can see I got it on both. So, test thing, you do, video thing, box sack. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. I really like this thing. It's so yeah, my idea was to modify this thing to use it in the um, ham radio frequency here, but I really don't know how to um, 
like modify the frequency because this thing inside has like three or four quartz components and different things. These are um, UHF modules, uh, they are different, but yeah, they have, in this case, they have three, whoops, it's not focusing, okay, you can see it has three quartz clocks thing and there is some trimmer here so yeah it's not just really easy so i have also this pair this is bigger um but this only has one quartz with the same frequency ribbon on the thing so probably will be easier to modify so yeah, if you have any service manual for this thing, will be really cool. I haven't found it online. But yeah, that is. Uh, so thank you for watching. If you have any question, just you can find me on my Twitter account or here. Just leave it here in the comment section. So thank you for watching.